Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this cool velocity edit inside of Filmora 13. Many of you guys asked me how to make a velocity edit using Filmora 13, so here it is. So let's jump into Filmora and get started. Okay guys here I added my videos and audio to the timeline, then I add a few markers to my audio layer to match the audio beat. So after that I split this layer into two parts, and I add the velocity edit to this part right here. And also you can see this is a normal speed clip. So if you use normal speed video, first you need to bring down your video speed. So you can do that, simply go to the speed, and bring down the speed value you like, so I change it to something like 0.3. After that go to the AI frame interpolation, and change it to optical flow. Then I bring this layer here, and go to the beginning of this clip, and press the I key on the keyboard to add the selection area. After that I render this clip to see the result. So now you can see it has a smooth slow motion look. So then we need to export this, so I export only this part like this. So after that delete your slow motion layer. Then add your exported video to the Filmora, then I drag and drop it to the timeline like this. After that I add the speed graph to part of my beginning clip. So I use this speed graph with the optical flow. So now when I play it, you can see it starts with normal speed. Then it slows down to match the speed to our slow motion clip. So after that we have to create our velocity part. So first I select my first beat, and select the layer, then split it right here. Then go forward, and select the range you want to speed up. So I select here, and split it like this. Then I select this part, and I add this flash and graph to this. Then go to the graph, and select this point right here, and remove it. Then drag this layer to here. After that go to the second beat, and split the layer like we had done before. Then select the range you want to speed up, and split the layer like this. After that add the flash and the speed graph, and remove this point. So guys that's how we can add the velocity look to our videos. So here's what it looks like. So after that we need to continue the same process for other parts, so I add it like this. Okay after that here's what it looks like. Okay then we can convert this video to portrait. So first we need to change these layers to compound clips. So first I select my start clips and change them to a compound clip, and I named it Start Clip. Then I select these layers, and change them to a compound clip, and I named it Velocity Clips. Ok after that let's convert this to a portrait, so go to the project settings, and select Change Aspect Ratio, then you can change the ratio you like, so I change it to Portrait, then hit OK. So then we need to adjust the scale and position. So I select this, and I change the scale to something like 325, and adjust the position like this. Then I do the same thing for this clip too. So then we need to adjust the position using keyframes. So I go to the beginning of this clip, and create a keyframe on position. Then go forward, and I adjust the position like this. Ok then we need to add effect to this. So first I like to add a mild effect. So go to the effects tab, and search mild effect. Then add it to this layer like this. Ok then go to the effects settings, and I change the frequency value to 2. 
position x to 0, y to 0, and keep position z to 10. Then I disable the RGB separate, and keep the motion blur enabled. Okay guys now we have nice movement look, like this. So then I like to add zoom in and out movements. So I go to the beginning of this clip, and go to the scale. Then create a keyframe on the scale. Then I go to my second beat. And I increase the scale to something like 400. Okay then I continue the same process like this. Okay after that open the keyframe panel, and you can adjust the graph if you want, but I like to keep it default, so I didn't change anything here. Okay guys now our velocity edit looks like this. So then we need to add flash effect to this, so first we need to add an adjustment layer, so I add it like this. Okay then select the adjustment layer, and go to the color tab. Then scroll down and select the light section. Then I use this exposure to create that flash effect. So here I change it to 35, and create a keyframe, then I bring this keyframe to start. After that I bring down the exposure to something minus 15, and drag this keyframe to the end like this. Okay then go to the keyframe panel, select this first keyframe, and I add the ease out preset to this. Then I take a duplicate of this layer, and add it to other parts like this. So guys now our main part is complete. So then we need to create our beginning part. So I use this kind of low quality look effect for this. So let's see how to create that quality. So first go to the effects tab, select new blue FX, select filters, then select this frame rate effect, and add it to this layer like this. Then go to the effects settings, and change the preset to this 12 FPS preset. So this effect helps reduce the frame rate on your video. So you can see this effect gives a nice shatter look like this. Okay, after that I like to add the same mild effect I added before. Okay, then we need to add the sharp look to this, so I search strong sharpening effect in the effects tab. Then add it to this layer. Okay, then go to the effects settings, and change both intensities to 0. Then I keep the opacity to 50 and change the strength to something 15. Okay guys now it looks like this. So finally I like to add a flicker effect. So go to the effects tab, select video effect, select shake, then select flash black. So before adding this effect, we need to add the adjustment layer to the timeline. So I add it like this. Okay then we can add our effect to this. After that go to the effects settings, and I change the frequency value to something like 20. Then go to the compositing, and I change the blend mode to soft light, and also change the layer opacity to something 20. So guys our velocity edit is complete, so here's the result. So guys that's how we can make cool velocity edits inside of Filmora 13, so you can see it's very simple to make, and also you can add a few more effects to improve your edits. And also if you need to learn more Filmora tutorials, you can check my Filmora tutorial playlist, I have done so many tutorials about Filmora, you can check that after this video. So guys thanks for watching this tutorial, I hope you enjoy this. Also please leave a like this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment about this video, and what tutorial you like next, so let's meet up the next video. Take care and peace.